Hello everyone. Today we will be looking at the setup and installation along with some of the administrative panel features of two routers from Asus which are the Asus RT-AC66U and also the Asus RT-N66U we will also be setting up the Asus EAN66 which is a 3-in-1 wireless Ethernet adapter you can also watch our unboxing and preview feature videos and read about these devices on thinkdigit.com if you may have missed them somehow so let's move on to setting up each of these devices I'll be showing you a screen capture of the entire operation step by step so let's start with the ASUS RT-AC66U dual band gigabit router after you have connected all the required cables to the router and powered it on, you will have to launch the internet browser on your desktop or laptop and you will notice that a quick installation setup wizard page opens up. So now you will have to follow these simple steps to create a secured and personalized connection using the router. So this page mentions some information about the router and its features. So you just have to click next and follow these simple steps. You will have to provide an admin and uh, login name and or a password on this page. So let's go ahead and do that. This is the wireless setting page. Here you have to choose a network name or network key for your connection. Along with that you can also choose the security type for your connection. So just name it. Let's just name it Asus. Let's keep this setting same uh, for 2.4 GHz as well as 5 GHz connections. So basically it uses the same key and uh, network name for both the connections creating a password is the most important part of setting up a wireless connection as an open connection may breach your privacy and lead to security issues so after this completes you will see a page which shows the current settings which you have inserted in the router and it all comes down with the us uh, the network name the network key the wireless security type and the connection and the IP address of the connection along with the MAC address so after finishing this setup you will notice that uh, the a connection has been created depending on uh, your type of use if you have created a wired connection you will see this icon or a wireless connection you will see this icon let's finish this up so this is the main page for the router which contains all the features and the options to change settings for the router and your connections so what we did right now was the quick internet setup it also has some other features such as the network mapping feature, guest network uh, connection preparation features, traffic managers, uh, parental control feature, USB application, AI cloud. This AI cloud can be used via applications from your Android or iPhone and you can control this AI cloud application. So it also has some wireless settings mentioned on this page like wireless, LAN, WAN. IPv6, VPN server setup, firewall and administration along with the system log. So let's see what its administration page looks like. So in the administration operation mode, you will see that it has mentioned that the RT-AC66U supports several operation modes to meet different requirements. It depends on what kind of an operation you want it to perform. So Currently we have selected the wireless router mode which is the default thing or uh, you can even use this as a media bridge or as an access point mode 
for accessing the uh, network from the access point so all this is described below along with that you also have the system info which contains the usual login name along with password features and the radio toggle buttons along with that we also have the authentication methods the uh, web access from one option allow only specific IP etc etc so you can set these up as and when you want depending on your type of network and setup the router also has a firmware upgrade page which has all the administrative features showing you about the firmware version of the router with including the product ID and uh, if there is a new firmware file available then you can check for it and download it and this will be upgrading your firmware version for the router it also has restore save and upload setting options and this is also an administrative feature which has options for factory reset save settings and restore settings for restoring settings you can upload a previously used file and uh, browse for it and upload it here so these were some of the administrative panel features of the asus rt ac66u dual band gigabit router since we have deployed the rt ac66u router now so let's start with another router from asus that is the asus rt n66u dual band gigabit router this router is a precursor to the rt ac66u and it has the wireless n900 specification after you have connected all the required cables to the router and powered it on you will have to launch the internet browser on your desktop or laptop and you will notice that a quick installation setup wizard or a quick internet setup wizard opens up so you will have to follow some simple steps to configure your router and get connected so you can see that this page looks very similar to what the rt ac66u connection page looked like so as this router is a precursor to that so the there are quite a lot of similarities between the two except that the rt ac66u was a dual band gigabit router with the uh, 802.11 ac specification which is currently the newest specification in the market and the rt n66u is a previous generation specification that is the wireless n900 specification so let's go ahead with the setup of this router here you have to enter the login name and password details for your router please note that if you can uh, if you accidentally he don't remember your uh, details for the router so you can click on the reset button on the router and it resets your router's settings and you can uh, configure it again so you provided it with a password and now let's click on next so it is starting to detect your uh, connection type so this page is a wireless setting page it has the option to choose a network name along with the network key e and uh, you can use the same network name and network key for a 5 gigahertz as well as 2.4 gigahertz setting in by just checking this box let's give it a key So this is giving us an option of upgrading the firmware right now. So we can upgrade the firmware from the current version to this version. So you can either do it right now or you can cancel it. So we will be doing it later on as we are setting up the router as of now. So this is the actual completed network com configuration summary page. So this has a network name network key and all the other credentials which we provided while setting up the router for all of the types of connections and uh, along with that we also have the LAN IP and the MAC address here it shows for clients or computers to connect your wireless network following follow these steps 
so you can see these steps and do as it's told to connect the network after you finish the ne network connection so you can see that the network and the router has been connected to it so this is the actual main page for the rtn 66u router and uh, we just completed a quick internet setup it also has a host of other features such as network mapping network mapping guest networks traffic manager parental control usb application features and ai cloud along with that it also has advanced settings for wireless networks lan wan ipv6 vpn server firewall administration and the system log this is pretty much the same as what we saw for the rtac 66u router so let's see its administration page if you might remember there were three modes in the rtac 66u router but this only has a wireless router mode which is a default mode and an access point mode so you can select any of these modes uh, depending on your choice and uh, operation so let's go on to the administrator station system settings so here you can change the router login password or login name and uh, along with that you also have some miscellaneous other features and settings you can again see that it has a firmware upgrade button provided on the administration page and this is prompting us to install a new firmware upgrade as of now but we'll do it later as we're checking this out so uh, restore and save upload settings are also available but this firmware upgrade page uh, provides us with the product id and the firmware version of the router and the new firmware file and we can upload or you can you can actually browse for a file and tell it to upload that file for its firmware upgrade let's go ahead to the restore save and upload settings this is an administration feature which allows you to save current settings of rtn66u to a file or load the settings from a file so you can actually uh, put the factory default settings or restore them and you can save particular settings and you can even restore the settings or upload your previously chosen settings by browsing your file that's what it provides in the administration mode these were the administration panel features which the rtn66u router provides us so we'll be also seeing the other different features which it provides and also the in depth analysis of the entire router now let's set up another small but powerful network device from asus that is the asus ea n66 which is a 3 in 1 dual band wireless ethernet adapter with the wireless n450 specification it provides us with three different modes which are the ethernet adapter mode the access point mode and the repeater mode we will be now setting up a connection without using wifi protected setup so basically you just need to connect your uh, router by using the network cable to your laptop or desktop and then go to the mentioned address on the card cable which came with the adapter and uh, insert the credentials which you require for example we'll now have to set up the ethernet adapter login password so we'll give it a new password say After giving it a password you need to click next so this tells us that it is starting the wizard which is going to guide you through the whole setup so searching for available networks basically it searches for existing wi-fi networks when it gets completed you need to click next so it found two different networks and it also shows you the ssid and the mac address of the particular network with the channel security 
and what type of uh, security type it uses and the signal along with the frequency so both the connections and the signals which we are getting right now are of 2.4 gigahertz and now we can choose to connect to a particular one so after clicking the one of your choice you need to enter the security key for that particular address or the connection so it's applying the entered settings and setting up a configuration so when it it finishes the setup so it tells us that we need to connect the EAN66 to any device for wireless connection so if you want you can connect it to a, another device for example another your cell phone or your tab tablet or whatever and uh, can configure it using this it also shows you what uh, its LED signal indicates for example when there is a good signal the light is continuous when there is a weak signal the light blinks and when it gets disconnected the LED indicator on the device is off so it gives us uh, it gives us the option to add the EA N66 into our book bookmark which you can do easily and now it is asking us for a password So once logged into it, you can see the current status of the device with the channel bandwidth that is currently 20 to 40 millihertz, uh, megahertz with channel uh, along with current frequency, the MAC address and the firmware version. Along with that we can also see some administration functions which it provides. For example, currently we are using it as an Ethernet adapter mode, but we as this is a 3-in-1 device, so we can also use it as a repeater mode and in order to extend our network range or we can also use this device as an access point mode. So you can select any of the three options and save it. Uh, it also provides us with system settings or the administration settings in which you can change the Ethernet adapter login password and details along with miscellaneous options and LED brightness control along with the indication. This adapter also has an option to upgrade its firmware. Uh, currently it is showing us its product ID and firmware version. If there is a new firmware version available, it uh, automatically prompts you to install the same. It also has a restore, save and upload setting. Uh, in this uh, you can see the factory default setting and restore it back to its factory defaults or save a particular setting and store the setting uh, or restore a setting uh, by uploading a particular file which you have uh, selected before so this is very similar to what the other uh, devices from Azus provided us and this was all for the setup and installation of the Asus routers and adapters, stay tuned for more videos.